We as a culture, especially the millennial generation, desperately want instant gratification. There are so many reasons why we've been shaped this way, but that's not the point here. What I wanna share with you today is how you can succeed by just being more patient and not seeking that instant gratification in your career. I've all but stopped going to physical stores and do my shopping online only. In fact, just a couple days ago, I was on the sidelines of a Utah Warriors rugby match filming when my battery started to die on me. I couldn't do anything about it then, but to alleviate the problem in the future, I pulled out my phone, ordered two new batteries, and in less than 14 hours later, they were at my door. I received instant gratification knowing that when I pulled out my phone, my pain point was solved with just a couple taps. And nowadays, anything can be delivered with a couple taps. You want food? Tap, tap. You want news? Tap, tap. You want insight, knowledge, education? Tap, tap. This isn't the start of a rant to tell us that tap, tap is bad. Honestly, it's what has allowed me to hustle at the speed in which I do. But there are some things in life that just take time. There isn't a shortcut button for a couple of these things I want to address. Therefore, you need to recognize where it is okay to slow down and let the process work itself out. Let me start with what many designers refer to as imposter syndrome. First, you're not alone. We've all felt it. For those who haven't heard of imposter syndrome, it's that moment when you see the success or greatness of a peer and you think to yourself uh, what you lack and what they've got and you don't deserve to be in your situation. Comparing yourself to your peers can be a slippery, slippery slope. All the time I hear stories of people who think less of their abilities because they saw a coworker or a peer they graduated school with get a promotion or recognized for their accomplishments and they then think to themselves, we graduate at the same time. What did they do right that I'm not doing? A friend of mine once shared with me this thought. He said, don't compare your book with someone else's. You'd never compare your page 32 to someone else's page 54. It doesn't make sense. We're all on different journeys. And we're on different points on that journey. Now, it's easy for me or anyone to just say, stop comparing. So let's take it one step further, knowing that you'll still probably recognize the success of your peers around you but use that as an opportunity to look at it in ways that would inspire you. Instead of doubting your abilities based off of someone else's success, see their success and get inspired. Use it as motivation, not competition, but motivation to become better. Another place we're always tempted to compare is in job titles. Let's say you graduated from school with a good friend who landed at a startup with a big fancy title of creative director. Whereas you went to the corporate route and you got the title of an associate UX designer. Speaking from experience, those titles mean nothing in that scenario. I was the designer with the fancy title of creative director out of school. When I moved on from those startups and transitioned to the corporate world, those titles hurt me more than ever helped me. So when your friend gets promoted to senior UX designer before you do, use it as an inspiration to better yourself. Then recognize the opportunity to just be patient and trust the process. For those listening who are at the beginning of their careers, this is especially important for you. As a hiring manager, if I see two resumes come across my desk that have identical experience, let's say one to three years, but one of those candidates' most recent title was a senior UX designer and the other one was an associate UX designer, it doesn't mean a thing to me. If I brought them both in for interviews, wouldn't you want to be the associate UX designer that blew people away over the senior UX designer who left people wanting more? Be patient. Your title this early in your career doesn't mean a whole lot. Your career is a marathon, not a sprint. You've got to think past the next six months or even two years. Be patient and strive to just learn what you can learn at the pace that you can keep up with. Find good mentors. Seek to be inspired and soak it all in. Instant gratification won't give you long-term success here. It really is the story of the tortoise and the hare. Now that's all I've got for you today. There is one last rant in this series about becoming a unique breed. That episode on hustle will be coming out soon. Until then, make sure you check out the previous two rants. Uh, one is about learning to love losing and the other one is about understanding when to say yes. If you like this, you'll like those. And if you like this, I would really appreciate it and you would put a big smile on my face if you subscribe. 
Thanks for joining me again. I'll talk to you later.